Hi guys, my name is Rachel and welcome to today's vlog. I don't know what number it is, but the subjects I have lined up today is the neurological condition known as misphonia. We'll get into more detail about that. And camera equipment, oh, basic media equipment that I have my eye on. Um, <laughs> what's happened during my week? What can I address and what has happened? Yeah. <laughs> but today, I hope everyone is having a wonderful week, depending how long this vlog is going to be. My throat is going dry. I had a cup of tea. I, I had a nice cup of tea. A uh, black currant cup of tea. I always... I tell I'm going to repeat the same word. Uh, I had a break before this because I needed to charge up my camera. Uh, I recorded two videos, two Let's Play videos of The Sims 4 Get to Work. Uh, my, my, my main Sims 4 series was half an hour, which airs on Mondays. And my, well, regular get to work random video airs on Wednesdays. Uh, first one was half an hour, and the next one, the Wednesday one, is nearly 20 minutes long. Mm. Fantastic. Are you a bit too high? I can shorten down the leg a little bit. Fine, there you go. There you go. Well, I am in the shot properly now. So the first subject we have here is misphonia. I have the Wikipedia page up and addressed. Misphonia. Oh, there, spat everywhere. <laughs> misphonia. Literally, hatred of sound is a re is a rarely diagnosed neuropsych. Okay, <laughs> neuro neurocytic disorder, which Negative emotions, anger, flight, hatred, disgust are triggered on by specific sounds. Sounds can be loud or soft. The, terms was, the term was con coined by American neurologist Paul Jeloboff and Margaret Jesterboff. No, oh, Jesterboff, sorry. Both names are Jesterboff. Uh, and sometimes referred as selective sound sen sensitive syndrome. Miscophonia is not classified as a discrete disorder in DSM 5 or ICD 10 in 2013. Three psychologists at the Ac Academic Medical Center in Amsterdam form formulated diagnosis criteria that is that for it and suggested that it's classified as a separate oh, these long words psycheric disorder 2013 a review of no, no, no neurological studies and fmri studies of the brain as it relates to disorder postulated that abnormal and dysfunctional assessments of neural signals occur in the uh, interior and terrier uh, basically misphonia is a disorder in the brain where you hate a certain number of sounds for example uh, it can vary from coughing sneezing uh, let, let's uh, let's um, narrow it down to two categories uh, quiet sounds for example breathing uh, mouse clicking, um, birds chirping, and um, whatever the quiet sound. Uh, computer fans. That could aggravate someone. Or loud sounds, for example, next door's music. Uh, cars. Um, coughing. Repetitive. Really, it, it varies between person to person. And really, it feels really insignificant. Um, I have a friend named Jade who is discovering it for herself. Let's see, I am looking at her tweets now. We had a conversation about it. She says she is 99% certain that what I have, sniffing, gum chewing, breathing, mouse clicking, bird sound, songs, Muffled voices, singing, traffic noise, and other repetitive sounds and movements uh, really freaks her out. And um, 
she used to hate heavy nasal breathers, and I hope Jade doesn't mind me addressing her points. It is one of those subjects that I don't think gets talked about much. So I want to uh, compile some research and try and help people who are discovering it like myself about it. Um, Let's see, uh, but one day I was watching TV with someone and I heard their breathing when it got quiet and now I just can't tune it out. So she hates breathing, it really annoys her. So really mainly it's quiet sounds to her, so she really doesn't like the clicking of a mouse, she doesn't really like people breathing. Really repetitive sounds that grinds her gears. but. As we were kind of diving into misphonia, I kind of discovered that I am very alike to her, but on a louder spectrum. I, 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 I get really agitated when someone coughs repetitively. Once? Yeah, good. Twice? Sort yourself out, seriously. Um, sneezing? Not really. I'm good with sneezing. sneezing. <laughs> I'm good with sneezing. It just goes. <laughs> um, actually, I find sneezing quite hilarious. But you know, um, no music, noise from the neighbours. Um, just a moment, ter moment ago, they were playing some music, and I just managed to record what they were playing. So here's a little snippet. This this is before I play it, before I add it in. This is a type of music that kind of really agitates me. Now, I want you to sit there and think: Are they normal, or is this a misphonia sign? Now. No one's in the bad books, per se. I'm just trying to research it out. They're providing a good example of what I'm trying to research. So, have a listen. Tell me what you think. Um, so yeah, that was uh, the music that they played. Sometimes I do it a bit more louder. That was just kind of a medium tone. I cannot think while they play that. So most of the time I put earbuds in to actually try and get stuff done. I cannot focus. Um, thankfully, their muffled sounds don't surpass my um, bedroom 
door and wall and I'm, and I'm at the opposite end of my bedroom so it's really good I mean realistically the loudest thing my camera can pick up is the vacuum cleaner downstairs really and it's really muffled the vacuum cleaner is so it's really good that it doesn't pick up they were playing a while ago while I was recording so I don't think they I don't think it picked up because it was really quiet it was, I could really vaguely hear it it was just right there it's kind of throwing me off um, yeah, I'm going to compile that into another video on its own so other people are just trying to find misophonia on their own and want to join in the conversation there can jump in there and I'll try and pick up some more sounds that they make and see what happens there yeah, I'll keep my camera by the side of me and if they play up more music then maybe more to my research file of misphonia. Um, coffin, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> it just shakes me up, it really does. Um, uh, repetitive, well, was where, well I was going to say repetitive swearing but anything repetitive to me is annoying. Any noise that isn't my own is annoying so it's kind of a, a strange disorder it is um let's see what other research there is 